Good morning, Valley. Today on Valley Por Vida, we're talking about the National Days calendar to see what celebrations you can take part in. There's also a lot happening in your neighborhood, so be sure to stick around for What's Up RGV. We're also learning about an exciting Christmas toy drive that can really benefit children here in the Rio Grande Valley. And we're checking in with our friends on the island to learn all about the latest efforts of Sea Turtle Inc. Plus, it's Foodie Friday, so we're bringing you delicious eats from local restaurants. All of that and and more, you're not going to want to go anywhere. Valley Por Vida starts right now. Hi there, and thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. Well, there is a national day or month for just about everything, and today is no exception. According to the National Days calendar, today is National Twin Day, National Answer the Telephone Like Buddy the Elf Day, National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day, and National Underdog Day. We hope you can keep in mind these topics and themes when navigating throughout the rest of your day. All right, well, it is officially the end of the week, and you know what that means. It's time now for Foodie Friday, where we bring you the latest on delicious local food. Take a look. Hey, guys. Welcome to Foodie Friday. I'm Frank Macias uh, here at Frank Place Craft Burger House. We whipped up a uh, gourmet craft burger here. It's uh, Luchador. Come on by. So this is our luchador, it's one of our fan favorites. It started out of a food truck, which I uh, kind of mimic from Whataburger. It's a, a hamburger patty with bacon, fresh cilantro, uh, queso fresco topped with bell peppers and a habanero crema. And uh, this one here has been one of our fan favorites. So whenever you're hungry, you're out and about, and at the end of the day, you want a great burger, stop on by Frankie Flaves. This burger has everything you need to get that extra energy to finish off the day. And come on by to Frankie Flaves. You can enjoy it anytime. So with over 30 burgers on our menu, this is one of our top favorites. So come on by and give it a try and let us know what you guys think here at Frankie Flay's Craft Burger House. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook so you can see all our delicious other kind of foods we have. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and uh, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you. There you have it. The Luchador Burger is what it's all about. If you'd like to give it a try, be sure to drop by Frankie Flav's Craft Burger House in Harlingen. You can also give them a call or follow them on Facebook. And be sure to stay tuned for more local eats next Friday for Foodie Friday. Well, right now, there is so much going on across the Rio Grande Valley. Events for the whole family to enjoy. Here's What's Up, RGV.
Right now through January the 8th, you can enjoy the holiday Sandcastle Village and Light Show on South Padre Island. This is your chance to show off your creative skills in making holiday sand sculptures with your friends and your family. Plus, don't miss out on the opportunity to tour other castles in the village to get in that South Texas Christmas spirit. Check out a sand snowman, a sand tuck claws, and a surfing Santa. All natural artwork made of the earth hosted by South Padre Island Convention and Visitors Bureau. Bring your face mask, remember to social distance, and of course, join in the fun. You can drop by Louie's Backyard located at 2305 Laguna Boulevard, and don't forget to stay till night for a special light show. That's right, lights will light up the sky from 6 to 9 in the evening, and it's holiday magic that you won't want to miss. For more information on the 2020 Holiday Sandcastle Village and Light Show, you can log on to SoPadre.com. And if you're in the mood for some holiday shopping, look no further. You can check out the Shop the Island event hosted by South Padre Island Chamber of Commerce. This is your chance to stroll through any SPI business, enjoy outdoor island shopping displays, and get ahead of your Christmas gift buying. Drop, by any, uh, drop off any of your original $20 or more receipts to one of the following locations for your chance to win a $500 shopping spree for the new year. Businesses accepting receipts include Cactus Flower, South Padre Island Brewing Company, and more. The drawing will be held December 20th at 11 a.m. Best of luck. Well, let's take a quick look at what you can look forward to next year. After all, it's never too early to start planning for fun. The South Padre Island Sand Crab Night Time Beach Run will draw in many participants and onlookers from across the state of Texas in just a few months, early next year. It's hosted by Run in Texas, and this event will allow you to run under the stars in the evening along the beach. There's a 5K and a 10K, and it all starts at 8.30 p.m. so that you can run under the stars. The Kids Mile starts at 8 p.m. and you'll even get a t-shirt and finish your medal with your participation. Plus, you'll be invited to a post-race party and an award ceremony at Pearl South Padre Island Resort. This is your chance to pull out the glow sticks and head on and headlights so that you can light up the coast with the entire team. Be sure to be there early, of course, for free glow sticks. The entire event goes to benefit Sea Turtle Inc. for the conservation and rehabilitation of sea turtles. What a fun way to give back. What's Up RGV is your headquarters for everything Valley. Check back with us again next week to plan your upcoming events. And of course, the full list of events can be found on valleycentral.com, so be sure to log on and check it out. Well, with the new year approaching, many people are engaging in efforts that will really benefit families and children here in the Rio Grande Valley. After all, it is a season of giving, and Valley Initiative for Development and Advancement, VIDA, is putting together a great toy drive, collecting items to put smiles on the faces of kiddos here in the Valley. And you can definitely take part in their holiday mission. Hello, and welcome to VIDA. So, Valley Initiative for Development Advancement, a nonprofit career training assistance organization here in Mercedes. So, happy holidays, everyone. And VIDA is uh, constantly looking for ways to be involved in the community. Uh, as you may know, many of our participants provide community assistance or community uh, hours throughout the year as they are part of the VIDA program. And right now we are having a toy drive that will be benefiting various organizations across the Rio Grande Valley. So uh, we're here to help. We want to make sure that all of our kids throughout the valley have a joyous and wonderful Christmas. So these gifts will be going to our children across the Rio Grande Valley who may not be able to enjoy a Christmas by having a gift. If you have a gift that you would like to donate to one of these families, please come by our office. So if you'd like to make a beautiful impact to one of our families across the Rio Grande Valley, please drop by.
And again, from everyone here at Vida, we want to wish the, the entire Rio Grande Valley happy holidays and Merry Christmas. It may be a difficult year, but it's still a great time for giving. To lend your support for Vida's Christmas Toy Drive, you can drop by their location or give them a call. You can also log on to VidaCareers.org for more information. All right, well, let's head on down to South Padre Island because the team at Sea Turtle Inc. is on a mission to help educate the public, rehabilitate injured sea turtles, and lead in conservation efforts. Take a look. Good morning, everybody. I'm Jeff George. I'm the executive director here at Sea Turtle Inc. We want to welcome you to South Padre Island. Sea Turtle Inc. has been around for a long time. We're a nonprofit that's here to help sea turtle populations. A lot of our residents know that sea turtles are here on South Padre. What most people don't know is that five of the world's seven endangered species are right here on South Padre Island. So our organization is here to help their populations. We have a hospital. We're going to go see some of the patients. Uh, we also have an educational program. We invite you to come and visit us, learn about sea turtles, learn about our oceans. And we also protect the mamas and the eggs here on South Padre Island. This has been a great year. We've had over 8,000 eggs laid on our beaches here. Now they're here for different reasons. They are laying eggs here. They are growing up here. They're coming from other areas. They're passing through. This little guy we named Banjo, and he was stuck in the jetties. We've had a lot of tropical storms, haven't we, and hurricanes, and these little guys come from the Yucatan of Mexico. They're growing up in the Laguna Madre between South Padre and the mainland of Texas. And when they hit about 200 pounds, you now this guy's only about four pounds, uh, they'll go back to where they were born, which was the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico. These are called green sea turtles. They're not green, are they? But they're plant eaters, and their fat turns green from all the chlorophyll that they're eating. So greens are a beautiful population. Uh, they are recovering. They're now threatened here in Texas because of conservation efforts in Mexico and here in the U.S. Now, Banjo had some superficial injuries, some scrapes and, and cuts. Uh, he's now ready to go. When we release turtles, we put a microchip in them. This is the same thing that your dog would get. It's called a passive integrated transponder or a pit tag. It's going to go in the left flipper. We'll be able to scan our turtles that come in and see if they've been tagged previously from other areas. And this is how we learn where turtles are going and how long it takes them to grow up, etc. So Banjo is ready to be released. Uh, our vet tech and, and her assistant have done a great job getting Banjo ready for the ocean. Now all he needs, or she, we don't know which yet, is that microchip in the flipper. It's going to get inserted into the muscle. There you have it. You can volunteer to help the turtles, donate to support care for the turtles, or adopt a turtle. Nest and hatchling option, adoptions, as well as resident and patient adoptions, can really help Sea Turtle Inc. the team with their mission of up, upkeeping the turtles' house at their facility. For more information on all things Sea Turtle Inc., you can visit them at 6617 Padre Boulevard. Give them a call at 956-761-4511 or log on to SeaTurtleInc.org. All right, well, thank you again so much for joining us today and be sure to tune in tomorrow because we'll be visiting with our friends at the Salvation Army to see how we can all band together to rescue Christmas. We'll also be dropping um, by the gym to learn some unique self-defense tips for you to keep in mind this new year. Plus, we're giving you a sneak peek at one furry friend who may be ready to become a member of your family. All of this and so much more tomorrow on Valley Por Vida. We'll see you then.